Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, and welcome back to the Never Show. Yes, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with the supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? Why wouldn't you want a third eye? Supernatural and super awesome. And um, if you're wondering why there's no movie review this week, it's because, well, things have gotten a little crazy here in Florida. Uh, Hurricane Irma is coming in for... A close encounter of the destructive kind and that means there's some problems here uh, a lot of places i go to get gas don't have gas right now um i did get to see a movie i will talk about that later in the vlog uh but my trailer is you know a 1970s piece of junk it can barely keep out a stiff rain so I do not know what to expect, and with my truck <laughs> in a million pieces, I'm not going to get it moved, even if I had tires to put on it, literally, so I don't know what's going to happen. It, this is a big gamble for me. I do have a safe place to go. There is a, con um, a concrete block house that my sister lives in in the next county, and I'm going to probably go there with my parents, so that means there'll be... A severe lack of vlogs and stuff because I'll be crammed into a house with eight people. Uh, so that's, you know, what's going to go on. I'm probably not going to be able to set up my recording gear there or do anything because there's probably not going to be much free space, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, let me talk about the movie I saw this week. I saw Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I have fond memories of this film. I really do like it. And it being the 40th anniversary, I didn't want to miss out on this. So I wanted to have my little say. Uh, do I think the film holds up over time? Yes, it does. And this is the why. It is a great period piece. And there are great period references. And it's not overcomplicated. I think that's what happens nowadays is people overcomplicate the movies. They want you to understand the lore and everything else that's going on. Uh, but this is what happens when you have a script and a director that are in cohesion and have a single editor. Every time I look at these things, there's like nine or ten people editing now. And there's seven or eight writers. And you lose cohesion and then you don't have character development and this movie has that in spades it was well done then and for the budget that it is done at could you could you probably couldn't make a movie for that now the special effects were well done and they weren't cgi they were you know the classic special effects they had great acting and people and they had great control over the extras and everything. And it worked great. And I don't know if people would like it as much now as they did then. Because there's so many movies that come out now. We get between 25 and 40 movies a month now. They they just shunt them out. Half the time I can't even see all of them. Because they're such an, in such limited release. That... It just becomes a mess. I have to pick and choose what I have to see. And that's what happens sometimes this week. And, you know, I enjoyed this. It was a little bit of a bit long movie. It still is. A, it's And it's gotten better with age, I think, now that it's gotten the Adobe update and everything. Definitely, uh, if, you, if you have the chance and you don't have a hurricane bearing down on you like we do now. Uh, I definitely recommend going out and seeing this weekend before it, the run closes because I think it's only till Sunday that it's going to be in theaters. So if you haven't gotten a ticket or haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's definitely another TV watch. It's definitely another DVD. It's def It was a definite DVD purchase because my dad 
loves this movie. So it was, you know, it's already in the library. <laughs> if the library survives the hurricane. <laughs> uh, gosh. Uh, don't drink the Super Slaker. It is a two-hour movie. <laughs> Love to see it again in theaters, but we have a hurricane and budgets and time and tide and all that nonsense keep me from, you know, being able to see these things again. Gas is keeping me this time. I literally am having a hard time finding gas to get there and back. So if you like what you see in here, please click that like button down below. It means everything to me. And uh, remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Uh, tell me your realities, your fantasies, your fan fictions, your tales of ennui, your problems. Spill your guts out. Bodily fluids. Whatever you want. Uh, no links, and no links, please. I'm not here to hawk your, hawk your crap. Uh, promote your channel or whatever else is going on with you. And make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And that little bell icon. Ding. And remember, uh, if this video gets two likes, I will flip out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!